Caught in a landslide, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, you faces, to a new dawn, a new day. You see this house? It looks like it's got everywhere. So, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna tidy it. We're gonna clean it. Look at this. Look at this. We got blankets, chocolates, letters. We got jabby dodges on the side. Not acceptable. It's a Sunday, not a fun day. If you, if you use Sunday as a fun day, then that's great for you. But Sunday to me right now is all about getting this place. Oh, look at that. I found a fiver. <laughs> Sunday fun day! But no skis, welcome your faces to a new dawn, a new day. We have got cereal with uh, noodles inside it. Not because I ate it like that, just because uh, I'm messy and I've been on a bit of a drinking spree, therefore I've not had time to clean. So, we are gonna get it, get it, get it, clean, get it, get it, get it, get it. I really wanna go to the gym, uh, which is like, well why don't you go Tom, you got a membership, haha. <laughs> but I can't be asked for weekends, because I know it's gonna be busy, on the weekends, which it just is. And I'd rather just go during the week. And if I go during the week when no one's there, I can just chill out, like kind of by myself and love life. So, we've got a bit of Queen on in the background. Let's get this place tidy. If you're watching this, by the way, Sunday, this will be on a Monday. It's Monday, get motivated, get it done, get out there! Ah! Oh, places, we don't stop. Cleaning it all up, making the bed. Like I said, if you can't make your bed, how do you expect to take over the world? And if you're gonna say, but Tom, I don't want to take over the world. Well, if you're not going to take over the world, take care of your own world and get done. I was just about to say, I can definitely smell something burning. Oh, okay, let's take a look at mine. Let's take a look, let's take a look, take a look, take a look. Oh, baby, you have crushed it. Mid-break cleaning snack. <laughs> okay, so I've had this up as a piece of art in this house for the longest time. I'm not too sure who framed it or who did it. It does look pretty sick, and it was like one of the first like proper sick posters we did at Syndicate Original. It's like, like that, it's like in White Chicks. Where? Uh, yeah, the picture of like the portraits. Oh yeah, portrait rooms. Wall. Okay, no, it wasn't that. Like, I didn't choose to put this up in my house like this. I just thought it was a sick design. So we'll take this down to Syndicate Original now and put it up. But we've replaced this on the wall with this. Probably need something a bit bigger here. Yeah, you've got a bigger one. What's well, the bigger one? I've got, one? I've got this. Bigger one, bigger one got. It's coming from America. <laughs> Um, oh, the Wolf of Wall Street one. Yeah. I could put the Wolf of Wall Street one there. That's probably a good one to walk out of the bathroom and look there, isn't it? All right, pr pretty proud of this one. I, li I like this a lot. So I've got loads of pieces of art like from you guys over the years. And shout out to uh, Kill Pretty People. Uh, two time, keep on vlogging, love Nick and Amy. This is one of the best pieces of art I've ever received in my life. Um, it's Steve in a suit. So, I banged it on top of the vivarium, vivarium, vivarium. Uh, and I, I think it looks absolutely awesome. So now, Steve's got a good piece of art underneath him. He's got a dragon, he's got a little lizard. I think, I think that looks awesome. Reet boy, playtime is over. Where I, oh, there he is. <laughs> you right, mate? What are you doing? Why did you tuck yourself in a little dark corner like that? Oh, he's still looking angry. Right, time for you to go back to your abode and back to bed because we're going out for some dinner now. Just uh, enjoyed watching my boy Boaty try getting an Inferno cape. And if you're watching this being like, Tom, what the hell's an Inferno cape? Basically that game I play RuneScape, one of the <sighs> biggest challenges you can ever do in that game is get something called an Inferno cape. And he's trying to do it with like a really kind of impossible set of challenges. Like basically he's a low level trying to do a high level thing. <sighs> I've just watched him. So Boaty, if you're watching this, Feels bad, man. Sorry you died on round 60, but I believe in you. If there's any ginger in the world to have a soul, it's you. I am 100% a butt guy. <laughs> They've ruined my gammon. Why have I got gravy on it? What's that about? Ruined! You seriously think you'll eat all that? You fat. Oh good, there's no way. I, could, I couldn't even finish that, let alone that. Meet you on the treadmill. Okay. <laughs> see you at the gym tomorrow. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> hey, wait, let me see. <laughs> oh, you've got this. <laughs> These two have both quit their meals halfway through. 100 quid on the line here. Joking, no, because I know you will eat that, come on. <laughs> You're dead proud of yourself, aren't you? Mm. That, it's, make, it's making me sick. Let me see it. Making me sick, think about it. Well done. I found one. You've let yourself down, girls. You've let yourself down. 
We back at it, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long ass time. Well, not since you've seen me play RuneScape, but since I've been streaming, I've had loads of technical issues and I managed to just fix it. Got streaming, and uh, apart from all these legends, this Sam with the 51 months, a legend. Thank you so much. We've got the classy one with a 61 month sub. Missed you last month, but five years. God damn, that's a long amount of time. All this technology in the house. What have we resorted to? <laughs> Sitting in bed, HDMI cable, laptop. Onto the big screen. Oh boy. Think it works. Now you might be like, Tom, I thought you just put this super fast Wi Fi system in your house and everything should be working. Well, yeah, it should be. Apart from the internet works great now. Oh, so far, so good. You know, knock on wood. But. The rest of the system in my house, which controls like, you know, the lights, the front door system, the speakers, the, the AC, all that sort of stuff, in all fairness, is a potato. We, it works in the regards of like, you know, like the lights, you can, I can program that button there uh, to turn on every single light on in the house and then turn off every 10 minutes and come back on it. Like, you know, like just, you can, I can program the house to do so much stuff. But the one thing where this house struggles Apart from you know, like the, the heating sort of controls, all that sort of stuff. The place that it struggles the most is when it comes to entertainment. So half of them racks in there are for Sky TV. Now, not one out of those three boxes are working. Why they're not working? I don't know. Like the boxes sometimes turn themselves off after a certain amount of time. Then the system can't detect them. And then this and then they overheat or whatever. Who knows? But smart system for your entertainment of music and uh, like music and like TV and stuff is crap. Never do it unless like it's like you know officially you know like brought through like Samsung or you know, like how a Sonos does just audio and they're just really good at it. Don't go for a house smart system. Why? Because half the time you'd be like, yeah, yeah, one, one set, let me put the TV on. Oh, I'm gonna, I can't put the TV on and put the channel on because I don't have the iPad to be able to control it or the iPad's dead, you know, that sort of thing. So that's always an issue. Then it's the case of it doesn't work when you want it to do. Look at, look at the bloody dust on it. I've just pulled it out of the cabinet. And the reason why I pulled the skybox out of the cabinet is like, well, I can't get it working. I'll take the skybox up there. Faffing about like fiddling with it here, going upstairs, fiddling with it here, going back upstairs. I'm just like, you know what? I'll take the bloody box out and take it up there. But what did I forget? Yeah, these buggery cables right here. Do you know what they are? They're the ones that connect it to the satellite. Not like plug it into the wall and I'm connected everywhere else. No, 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 no. That connects it straight to the dish. So unfortunately, I don't have an extension cable for the dish to plug in all the way upstairs to like a big TV to watch it on or something like that. That's why we're doing the laptop system upstairs. When I built this house, Sonos was not a thing. And if it was, it was not anywhere near where it was in the slightest. Like TVs, smart, you know, like smart, like Netflix and all that, weren't built into these smart TVs. You had to have a system to be able to like watch films and all that sort of stuff. And you had to have traditional TV. Now that's all changed. And unfortunately, I'm stuck with so much modern technology being ran by an old school system, which needs to go. So even though you're watching this on a Monday, it's a Sunday for me right now. This week is my mission to try and find a new system to run on my house, whether like Samsung do a professional one or something like that. And the reason why I'm saying I want like a name brand one is because they'll do it in scale. They'll have all the issues, issues, issues and everything. All the kinks worked out like from the get go, you know, or they will get onto it quick. Whereas this, if something goes wrong with it, it takes forever to get sorted. I've, like, I've actually got rid of like, the team who worked on it were absolutely amazing. They were, I loved them to pieces and very much believed in them. But there was always issue after issue after issue after issue with it. And again, look, like I've got rid of the team now, but this is not an issue since I got rid of them. This is an issue that I've had before. So this week, I'm determined to find a new smart system to go into my house. And I so hope someone like a Samsung or someone like that does this already and I can bring them in to come and do it because like I said, you know, like they put so much time and energy and money into it to perfect it. Like Sonos, they perfected the, like the, 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 the wireless speaker around your house, you know, that sort of stuff. So I want to try and find the, the, the superior system to run my house, no lag, no, no nothing. And I think I'm going to say goodbye to Sky. I, I had it for the internet and now I just don't need it. I've got my 500 up, 500 down for a virgin. Don't need this bag of bolts anymore. That system is an old one, I know, but holy shit, there's one thing I could ever advise you. 
stay away from smart systems that run your house and stick to individual devices like a Sonos for a speaker or a TV with like, you know, smart hub built into it where you can download like Netflix as an app and stuff. Cause trying to do all this, it's a headache. So with that said, in my two minute ramble over, I'm going upstairs and hopefully via HDMI cable, watching Game of Thrones with Lydia on, the, on my laptop connected to my TV. Goodbye. Babe, this has been real. I mean, at this point, I don't know who's left. At this point, I don't even know what I'm invested in in this show. I don't know who could possibly win or who I'd want to win. The Night King, apparently. You have to be on his team if you want to be happy. The Night King is a badass mother pudger. Oh, <laughs> All right. So I'm really good, and if somehow I can send the clip to Ryan of me sque squealing, I got my reaction as it happened in real time of the latest Game of Thrones episode. No spoilers whatsoever. It was insane. And like right now, look at the smile on my face. Like, <laughs> I'm such a nerd. I love it. There is no fucking way. No. But, oh my god, that, that, I think that might be one of the greatest things I've ever seen on TV. She's my favourite. Like, no spoilers, he, she, she, you, she, she, shem, she, 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 she could have done something. But honest to god, that might be the best ever plot twist in a TV show. We were so pessimistic. I've, I've, I've ever seen in my life. We were like, that's it. Yeah, but, but, but Game of Thrones does that to you. It's like you always you leave it like you think you're expecting something, and then oh no, you weren't. You didn't get anything. But oh my god, that might be the best episode of a television show I've ever seen in my life. Oh! <laughs> that was so good, right? I'm gonna have to go to bed, but I'm gonna like sit on my phone and just like read what everyone's tweeting about it. So uh, follow me on Twitter at Preston Nick. Okay, bye.